All right, well, it is a good day. Um, today's the day I go to, well, I'm on the way to the doctor right now because they're going to take this little splint, I believe it's called, because it's not a cast. It only has the plastic cast material at the bottom to keep my wrist flat, but the rest is just wrapped up with gauze and stuff, which I'm so happy because I have a lot of respect now for anybody that wears a cast for weeks and maybe possibly, I don't know how long they wear, wear it for if you break a bone, but um, because it's annoying. It's very irritating. I can't get it wet, so that doesn't make it really fun. My hands are no longer really swollen, so there's like gaps between where the plaster is in my hands or my arm. So now it's kind of loose, but it's rubbing and pushing against my arm and skin and it's irritating and it's annoying. Um, so hopefully they're going to take this off I'm going to get a regular bandage, and I already have a black brace that I use already. Hopefully, they'll let me just use that. Everything's good to go. I think they're taking out stitches. Sherelle said they might be dissolvable. I don't know. Um, but London had to pull out of school a little early. How you feel? Oh, you reading a book? That's Casey's book. Oh, you reading a book. Casey, you good? Yeah. I actually was supposed to take Casey to school today, but I overslept. I woke up at 8. Usually, what I do is once I wake up, I let him get himself dressed and I try to steal another 15 minutes of sleep and that extra 15 minutes of sleep I stole pretty much slept me for another 45 minutes and he didn't get dressed anyway. I ended up waking up at 9.45 and I was supposed to be at his school at 9 o'clock. So that didn't work out but I had to pick up London today at 12.30 anyway so it made life a little easier. Uh, so instead cut his hair and now getting gas, I'm about to hit this doctor's office. Then tonight we have gymnastics. I don't know why I thought those extra clothes was for school. No, you got gymnastics. All right, let's do this, people. All right, so I just got hit with a $300 deductible well it's sitting on my account um so we got to pay that but we'll wait for the bill for that one <laughs> so i brought their ipad so they could play with the ipad with the hair and i didn't realize the ipad was in charge so it died before we got here Just removed the bandage off. I got this small temporary one on it for now until the doctor comes in. So there's no stitches. They actually glued it um, together. So I was wondering why my fingers felt sticky, but it was pretty much because the glue was kind of like, I guess, melting. Um, it's still a little swollen around the incision site a little bit. I'm not going to show you because it was kind of... At first I thought it was going to be something small. It was actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I started feeling a little hot. And I was like, oh God. Oh God. So she wrapped it back up for me. Um, it's like pretty much straight across the top, perpendicular with my wrist, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Um, and I think, so I'm holding it stiff now. I don't know how much they want me to move it. I guess that might also make the inflammation going. You can still see the swelling right here on the top of my hand a little bit. Um, but right there by the decision site, it is swollen still. Uh, but eh, we make it work, right, Lolo? Okay, well, I'm back home, and as you see, I just have a regular bandage on it. He said I could technically leave it open, but because we got dogs, he said just just to be on the safe side so nobody licks it. We're time the glue will go away, so we're just at the house now. I think Sheryl's coming home early because 
She had, uh, she didn't work at her office today. She actually had to go to uh, college to work. So I think that she's coming straight home after that. Um, yep, yeah, but if you could tell, um, let me see. I don't know if you guys can see it. It still has like a lump. So that lump is still there for because it's a little inflamed. It looks weird. So what he said is over time, if I keep using the hand, it's going to, the inflammation is going to go down. That's just that's just the inflammation around the wound site. Um, just continue using ibuprofen and just moving around, which I believe is going to work because my hands was really swollen until I went to work and started typing. And then even though I felt like a burning sensation in like the tendons area, like when you work out and you just work out too hard and you feel like burning, I felt that, but it definitely helped with the swelling going down. So he said the blood flow will just keep going. So um, I'll keep it covered while I'm at home. Actually, got to go get some band-aids. I don't think I have some this size. And I'll just keep working out, use it a little more, get a bit of strength up, go from there. But uh, it's time to eat something. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, so today I'm going to attempt to wash all of the dogs. Uh, I have four total, so I'm going to wash literally four dogs, blow dry, get them all situated. And that's something that I try to do every maybe three weeks to every month. And then the next time is when they'll go to the groomer. So I try to kind of alternate with them because it's about $52 per dog when you take them to the groomer. I can't afford to do that every month. So the first thing I am going to do is move my um, mats and my soap and different things like that because I don't want hair going on my soap. That's gross. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick clean up of all the stuff and get it out of the bathroom. Now way I'm ready to go ahead and wash the dogs. I keep looking over here. I'm trying to look here. So I'm going to do that really quickly so I can pick up everything and then go ahead and wash the dogs. I do them one by one and I kind of just start with whoever comes to me first and I change out their bedding. I clean out their uh, kennel area for at night time. So I kind of just wipe all that stuff down. After I wash them, blow dry them, I put them into the kennel to kind of stay there and then I grab another one. So it's a process. All right, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, get these mats, take them out. I don't like dog hair all over, so after I wash the dogs, I, I um, come back and I mop my floor, I vacuum, because they're being washed in the bathroom downstairs. And we actually use this bathroom a lot. So I just don't like it to, um, to have dog hair. I feel like after you wash the dog, I'm getting my towels and stuff out. I feel like after you wash the dogs, like I feel like there's kind of hair in the air. So I just like to mop everything down. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the dogs and then I'll bring them and then we'll wash them and blow dry them. All right, so let me, oops. I cut my head off again. Guys, I don't record. So any videos that I record, I'm either going to be looking this way at the little camera pop out screen or my head is going to be cut off. So when you guys are watching videos, if my head is cut off, just know I recorded it myself because I'm terrible at recording. Terrible, terrible, terrible. My mom is not... My mom is good. Oh, thank you. Hey, pop. Okay. All right. So the first one I have here is Luna. I don't know if you see her face. Luna, look so they can see you. Luna is the hefty one. She's the bigger of the two. Um, She has a really cute little white patch right there. Just a little white hair. She's so sweet. Um, when you hold Luna like this, she kind of just stays. But I'm going to show you the difference with Sky. With Sky, she kind of holds her head all the way up like that. So this is Luna. Luna's the bigger one. Right? Say, so, I the fatty. I the fatty. So there's Luna. Luna. 
All right, well, people, a new day and uh, the joys of Valentine's Day continues. I brought Brooklyn with me to PetSmart for her puppy class so that Sherelle doesn't have to do it. I don't know if this is being convenient or being romantic, but I love my wife so much. I am going to take my day off to take Brooklyn to puppy class. You need a little education, right, Brooklyn? Right? Oh, you move back so you get on camera? I love it. All right, let's go show these people what you know. I got my clicker. This is where I ended up with the doghouse the other day. I just got my um, splint off from my surgery on Thursday. And this weekend, I was stretching my hands out a little bit. So I said, hey, let me, I don't feel any pain really. So I just put my brace on and I went back to work. Um, I didn't finish it because I needed help holding a piece up there so this is where I'm going to um, attach the the roof that actually moves but I couldn't finish it because I just couldn't hold it up and my hand was getting tired so I had to stop but boarding it up and then I'm not really too concerned about it being perfect because I'm going to cover it with um, siding anyway as well as some um, planks of wood for like the molding around it. So it'll be kind of hidden, not too worried about it. I also have to buy roofing material and some paint, but so far coming along. As you guys probably seen already, um, I've, I'm back on working on a dog house. It's been about four days since I've gotten my bandage taken off, still using a brace and a bandaid. Last night was the first night I was able to actually peel the band-aid off because it was stuck to that um, surgical glue. And also I was a little bit afraid to peel it off, to be honest with you. Stomach wasn't feeling too good about it, but finally decided to man up, peel it off, um, rinse it off. It's, looking, it's not as bad as when I first initially looked at it when they put the band-aid on at the doctor's office because she knew I was getting kind of antsy and she's like, you want me to just cover it up? And I was like, yeah, let's do that. So. Um, because the doctor technically says I could kind of just run around without it being covered. He said it would be helpful because we have dogs at home just to have it covered to be on the safe side. Um, but I, I end up, I'm just going to keep it covered because I use the brace a lot. I pretty much rotate my wrist a lot, close my, and do like different exercises. But when I'm out and about or doing things, I don't have to worry about protecting my hand, especially when, you know, reflexes, you're a parent, you got things you got to do. So I do like having a brace. So usually when I'm moving around, I have the brace on. Um, so like when I was working on a dog house, I had the brace on. When I'm walking around with kids, dropping them at school, I have the brace on. When I'm home doing nothing, I take it off and then I just keep um, exercising it. So I've gotten really good range of motion. I can't go up and back. I can't go back yet because it still has that those lumps there in the scissor site, so it feels kind of weird. But I can go down a little bit. Um, I'm not forcing it too much because the wound is still healing and I don't want to be any cause of the incision opening up more. But I am at London School picking her up. Case is with me. Picked him up from school today. Took him to speech. Um, that is the end of this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Definitely, if you guys are new, like I always say, stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you stay up to date on all our latest videos. Um, but until next time... Bye.